What's happening? Brian Tong here with your Googleicious for all the happenings inside the world of Google. Let's jump into the show, and the tech world is still buzzing about the Apple Watch that even upstaged Galaxy's S6 and S6 Edge release. And the latest estimates from Slice Intelligence point to Apple selling 1 million pre-orders over the weekend, which is more than all of the Android Wear devices shipped out in 2014. Now, the numbers are small, and that's really more indicative of an entire product category that still has to figure itself out. But maybe there's a place for these devices that act as a fitness band that also tells time. That's what ASUS is trying to do with their Vivo watch that will bring an impressive 10-day battery life to its fitness-centric watch with more details coming this week at the Milan Design Week. Now, Android Wear might not be making a big impact on the market just yet, but according to Comscore, Android is still the market leader with 52.8% of the mobile OS share market with Apple at 41.7% and Microsoft at 3.5%. And if you feel left out of the whole all gold everything watch and smartphone trend, for just $400, Vietnamese-based Carolux will bling out your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge with 24 karat gold plating just around the sides and it's about a three hour process, just in case you want to do that. All right, according to a Wall Street Journal report, a small team within Google X projects is working on battery tech led by one of Apple's former battery experts, Dr. Ramesh Bardwaj. Now, the group has only four people. It started in 2012, and the team is not only working on improving current lithium ion tech, but also developing solid state batteries as well. We know battery life is one of the real first world problems that gadget lovers constantly face. So the goal is to make improvements that can be integrated into many projects like phones and tablets or bigger ideas from Google like Glass and Project Loon. All right, Google's Project Tango is one of their killer projects we've talked about that combines 3D motion tracking with depth sensing to let your mobile device know where it is and how it moves through space. It's still being sold on an invite-only basis, but some users are receiving emails offering the Tango tablet at half the price. Now, the dev kit was previously being sold for around $1,000, but is now being offered at the uh, special price of $512 before Google opens up sales more broadly to the general public. Now, the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge continue to impress in reviews and are being touted as the best phone Samsung has ever designed to date, which really is exactly what Samsung was trying to do. Samsung expects the supply of the Essex Edge specifically to be constrained at launch due to difficulties manufacturing the device. The Essex is really the first great phone of 2015, but there's plenty competition that wants to be in that conversation, such as LG's highly anticipated G4 phone, which will launch on April the 28th. Now, leaked photos already have shown off a stitched leather-like backing in multiple colors, as well as a hard shell backing with a geometric surface. LG itself recently revealed it will come with a 16 megapixel camera with an f1.8 aperture, the widest developed by LG. The front side will bring an 8 megapixel camera and we already know it will come with a 5.5 inch quad HD screen and an all new interface. Alright, the leaked shots of the Sony Xperia Z4 keep on coming, this one in black. There's still no official announcement date, but the amount of leaks point to sooner rather than later. And if you want to brag about having the biggest and baddest smartphone screen, Sharp is touting that production of their 5.5 inch Ultra HD 4K resolution screen will start in 2016 with a massive 806 pixels per inch. Now, even if you can't even see all the pixels from your current 2K displays and many people consider it overkill, get ready for more coming soon to a phone near you. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can always email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong and I'll respond. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.